Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent. Today we're gonna be featuring Graptiveria Purple Dream and this is another hybrid cross between our Echeveria and Graptopetalum. We can easily distinguish itong succulent na to because of its reset appearance and as its name suggests, it will be giving us this purple color especially when it is stressed. Yung color ng kanyang leaves will now depend on the environment kung saan siya located. It is where yung ating watering is limited, the temperatures is also low, and at the same time, yung ating light exposure is increased, and you will be having that kind of purple look sa kanya. Itong specific Graptiveria succulent variety na ito could grow between 2 to 3 inches in diameter. It's not considered as a big size succulent, but because of the way it grows, nagkakaroon nga tayo ng clumping wherein yung ating mga rosettes would now overlap each other, creating now this kind of look, especially if nakalagay nga sila sa ating mga pots. Another spectacular feature of this succulent is yung kanyang flower. It will be giving us a tiny star shape pag nag-bloom siya and it's in the color of pink to purple. Ganyan yung kanyang itura. These ones are just about to bloom and I have here a total of 1, 2, 3, and 4 stalks and I think this one is another flower stalk na lalaki pa siya. If you think that your succulent is not stable enough, then you can always remove itong ating mga flower stalks na to so that it can concentrate in growing or stabilizing itself. But if your succulent is stable enough, then you can simply enjoy yung kanyang flowers. Our purple dream needs full sunlight for us to achieve yung kanyang vivid na color then and now, nakalagay lang siya sa rain or shine area and including yung ating full sun during those dry seasons or yung ating summer wherein the temperature is really high, na survive niya naman yun. Although we need to provide yung ating partial shade if yung ating weather is very hot so as to avoid yung ating sunburn and masunog na yung kanilang pinakalive, especially if you're living in the lowland areas. They also don't tolerate yung extreme changes in temperature. So if, for example, nakalagay siya sa isang indoor area or setup, then you have plans of putting it outdoors, then you have to do it gradually. Our purple dream also prefer yung ating dry roots and low levels of humidity. Yung ating humidity level, wala na tayong magagawa doon kasi nga we are living in a tropical country and dito nga sa aming area, the humidity level is really high. And therefore, I always make sure na talagang completely dry na nga yung kanilang soil. Most of the time, you only see yung ating superficial layer or yung pinaka-top part ng ating soil. But we really don't know what's happening doon sa pinaka-loob na part ng soil ng ating succulent. And because of our high humidity level, hindi mabilis mag-dry yung ating mga soil. And that is something that you need to consider. In my case, I do water them usually after 2 weeks or 3 weeks depending now on the situation kung talagang masyadong mainit then I have to water them more often but again it will now depend on the situation and your microclimate it's true na pag nagdidilig tayo ng ating mga succulents, dapat diretso siya sa ating soil. We need to avoid yung ating mga leaves kasi nga if nabasa yung ating mga leaves it can lead to leaf rot some fungal disease and it could potentially encourage yung ating mga pests but if you are in an area kung saan maganda naman yung kanilang air circulation na overnight magdra-dry yung water na nag-collect sa kanilang mga leaves then it would be okay na madiligan yung kanilang mga leaves especially if naka rain or shine sila talagang mababasa completely yung ating buong purple dream we also need to plant this in the right type of soil kasi it will not only encourage yung ating healthy growth but it will also help to prevent yung ating root rot and disease. We keep on saying na dapat well draining yung ating soil mix na gagamitin and at the same time, it also contains yung ating nutrients na kailangan nung ating succulent and I have prepared here yung ating loam soil with vermicompost kasi we will also be repotting our purple dream. Hindi maarte sa container or pot yung ating purple dream. You can literally put them in any container that you have. In my case, this is yung ating cup noodles na I just reused it. In fact, nung nilagay ko siya dito before, I can remember ito lang yung ating pinaka main stem and just a few resets dito nga sa kanyang gilid. And right now, nagpuno niya na nga yung ating small na cup noodle pot. Kaya I have decided to finally repot it into a bigger na pot. You would see na yung kanyang roots are very thin. Maninipis lang talaga siya unlike sa ibang mga succulents na they are very thick. 
And this one, very shallow lang yung kanyang root system. I will be repotting directly again. Hindi ko natatanggalin yung kanyang pinaka-old soil. And itong ating new soil would be its fresh source of its nutrients. And at the same time, I also fertilize it every month ng ating liquid na fertilizer. Kaya I'm not really worried na hindi siya makakatanggap ng sufficient nutrient. Medyo mababa, kaya let's try to add more soil dito. Diba? Since na nilagay na natin siya into a bigger pot, we would be expecting na magiging faster and bigger yung kanyang growth kasi yung ating containers na mas malaki sa kanya would also encourage yung kanilang growth. Medyo mabigat na nga yung ating flower stalks and hindi na masupport nitong ating stem kaya I will be adding this stick as a support. Ayan, diba? So mas sturdy na siya ngayon na kahit na we keep on moving this, hindi na siya magbibend doon. Propagating this succulent is very simple. In fact, kahit na hindi natin ipropagate yung kanyang leaves or yung kanyang mga stems, it would just give you multiple offsets like what we have here. Probably if you will be giving this 2 months to 3 months, baka mapuno niya na completely itong ating pinakapad. But right now, I will just show you how we can possibly propagate it. Yung kanilang leaves, walang kahirap-hirap na tanggalin. Ayan. One, two. So if you have a separate leaf propagation tray, then pwede nyo siyang ilagay doon. But if you don't have, you can just simply put it dito nga sa ating soil. You can just scatter it around dyan banda. And syempre, pwede rin natin i-separate yung kanyang mga offsets. All you need to do is find yung pinaka stem doon. You can remove some of its leaves. Then you can cut it. But I'm not gonna be doing that kasi I wanted na mas kumapal pa nga itong ating purple dream. For common problems with the succulent, unang-una nga dyan yung ating root rot as a result of overwatering. Siyempre yung ating mga pests hindi mawawala yan such as yung ating mga millibugs. And here I have seen some millibugs na nasa kanyang flower stalks. Usually yung ating mga millibugs may kita natin sila sa mga flowers nung ating mga succulents. Ayan yung nakikita ninyong parang white doon. Those are actually millibugs. They really enjoy yung part na ito. Kaya if I have seen na may mga millibugs na or aphids dito nga sa kanilang flower stalks, I immediately isolate and cut them. Even if na hindi pa nag-bloom yung ating mga flower stalks, that would be okay kaysa naman ma-infect niya pa yung iba natin mga succulents and this plant. So one and two we have three and pang four ito. Oops. So, we can remove itong mga leaves na ito kasi sayang. We can propagate them. Ilalagay ko na lang sila dito kasi sayang naman. So, after removing yung ating flower stalk, it would appear like this. And also, I do some quarterly fungicide application sa kanya. I'm using yung ating broad spectrum na Turagi Blue Fungicide for maintenance. And maagapan nga natin yung ating mga fungal attacks, especially ngayon na tag-ulan na. And that's all for our Graptiveria Purple Dream. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.